Okay, welcome back to Mr. Turner's art class. Alright, what you're looking at here is, I know this is goofy looking, but this is what I call a hand bat. Okay, this is something that uh, for Halloween that um, you can do with your, ki uh, with your kids. And I'm talking about the little ones. I'm, I'm saying probably kindergarten, I mean pre-K, kindergarten, first, maybe second grade. Um, they can make this. And actually anybody older can make these things because... Um, the, what makes it different, the building of the thing, the body is simple, but what can, uh, what's more interesting is the face. You know, the older the kid, the more detailed the face can get, because I've had middle school kids make these things before, and, you know, we gave them anime faces and stuff like that. So I guess anybody um, can make these make these things. They're, they're just fun to make, they're easy to make, and you can hang them up, um, up in the house. And actually, this thing is, uh, it's upside down because it's supposed to be like this and um, you know when I when you hang it, it has a little string here you hang it upside down and of course the wings come in and it folds like this Something, especially if the wind if you got a place with wind it does this okay sometimes and it just looks like a bat you know and then some, when the wind hits it it opens up so Real nice little simple thing, so you're gonna get you wanna make one. Okay, you just need a couple uh so I move this out of the way. You just need a couple supplies. I would say you would need some kind of little thread or string or whatever. You're gonna need a glue stick, scissors, and some black paper. And I actually have some scrap paper. So you also can make these like with the little ones because they are really bad. <laughs> they have really bad coordination you can use the uh, um, for this body you can take one of the little toilet paper rolls when you have one that's empty and you can just use that and they just have to paint it and color it and stuff paint it black okay so but we're gonna uh, do this because I'm trying to teach my uh, elementary kids how to have some coordination so all you have to do with this is real simple you're just gonna roll it up well, actually, make this easy on myself. Take this glue stick. You're going to put a lot of glue at the top for one edge. Especially if I have a little kid that's looking at this and they're going to do this on their own. Which I will, because most of my students are going to be looking at this. So, we're going to put a lot of glue right there. Then I am going to roll this thing on itself, like that. And then I'm just going to glue it down. I'm going to try to smooth it out as best I can without flattening it. I want it like this. You do not want it real small. You want the, uh, the hole to be like this. You want the body of this thing to be here. So, roll it a little bit. And if you've got a little bit of a gap, you know, you can go back and put some more glue on it. But I think this, for, the, for what I'm doing, will hold. So we have that. All right, now, the next part to this is where you would have to take black paper and you will have to trace your hand. And what I mean by trace your hand, which I'm not going to do that because it takes a while to cut, uh, cut these out, but if you put your hand down on a piece of black paper and then you take a pencil and then you trace your hand, trace your whole hand, take your scissors cut it out you will have these now I would actually to make it easy on yourself take the paper fold it in half so when you cut out one hand you will actually have two hands and then you just have to separate them so we have our hands let's say we uh, we trace our hands and we cut them out and believe me when I'm talking about little kids getting them to trace their hands is difficult so and it's but it's good for them because they need to learn how to trace so I would say kindergarten and first grade this was a real good project just by itself just getting them to trace their hand and then cutting it out along the lines so trust me that's <laughs> kind of difficult all right so I wanted to see how I want to position my hands on here and I'm gonna put them up there kind of kind of high like a bat so I know that it's gonna go there gonna take the glue stick again and put a lot of glue right there 
put a lot of glue right there. Get that out the way. And then I'm going to attach it on the back like that. And it's on you how you want it. I usually like try to have them angled, so I, I like my wings to sit up, kind of in an angle. Uh, let me get that on there. And change that angle of that one. Want, I want that one to be up too. Sort of like that. So you can put them like where, uh, wherever, wherever you wish. But yeah, I think I think that'll be good because that'll flop. When it uh, hangs upside down, it'll definitely come in on itself. So I have my wings, so we have our bat's wings. Now, this is the part where, depending on the level, the grade level of the child. Oh, forgot the ears almost. Okay, so, little kids, I'm still working with them on shapes. For the ears, I would say triangles, <laughs> just keep it simple, if it's little kids. If it's older kids, you can tell them to try to make like a little teardrop, a little teardrop looking shape. And because it's a bad, I'll make it kind of long. So I'll just do like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so then I'm just going to put it right back there. And I'm just going to make another little teardrop looking shape. I'm just going to trace around it. This is why I'm saying like little kids, this will be difficult. So I would just say tell the little kids just to make a triangle so they can get used to their shapes so okay we got two of these now all we gotta do is just glue those on there on the inside so I'm gonna put some glue right there on the little bottom edge stick that right there and I kinda turn it out in the angle I'm going to do this one too. Turn this one out. Whoop. Blue slippery. Okay, so we have our ears. Now, if you want, you can just kind of twist it just a little bit in an angle. Just so the ears kind of face more forward. So I'm just doing like, like that. So now both ears are facing forward. And now the last part to this which is real simple again we're dealing with little kids okay so the teeth and the eyes triangles just keep it simple you can take some scrap paper like I used, made another origami earlier so I'll just take a little scrap, uh, scrap paper and I'm just going to do something like that for the eyes okay and cut out a little triangle if I want to be you know exact I can put this piece right up here you know of course and trace it again but I think I'm just going to do that so I have two triangles for the most part for the eyes they don't have to be perfect you can have one small one big and like I said the weirder this thing looks the better and just put the eyes on there it's on you where you want to put them it's your back And like I said, this right here is more for like the little kids. I mean, little, little kids. You can make these things super detailed. That's what makes them different, and that's where the grade level uh, changes. And then we can just give it some sharp teeth. I'm just going to cut out a little long little, little triangle. And you should get the point right now. How easy it is to make this make this thing and give it some long little teeth and stuff like that so you see where I'm where I'm going with it and I can decorate this thing however I'm gonna give it to you a little bottom teeth
and you see all I'm doing is just lightly cutting out little little pieces and stuff so it does not have to be super detailed you know the little kids just let them do as they do because it's more or less about creativity with them and the process of making something for themselves okay as corny as that is that's that's it okay now all you have to do is just put a little hole down at the bottom just take the scissors put a little hole there and then stick a string through it and then you will have your hand bat in which you can hang upside down and it will fold in on itself so it'll look like a hanging bat so put this one back up so you can see it so that's all it is to it I mean it is extremely simple you can make this as simple as you want or you can make it as complicated as you want it's just based on your skill level the biggest thing is going to be the face so I mean if it's little kids I would just keep it simple just use tri little triangles make tell them to make big triangles small triangles cut them out paste them on there doesn't matter what uh, where they're located what size they are all this kind of stuff if it looks jagged the better because it looks scary or whatever or they can make a cute little bat and matter of fact these bats don't even have to be black you can um so some people can't celebrate Halloween like that so you can make a cute bat it has ha have nothing to do with Halloween you can make it purple use purple construction paper and make uh, make you a bat purple and pink you know or something like that or another I mean just the point is is to uh, the process of building this thing and having fun so don't make it complicated you know work on your little kids with tracing tracing their hand rolling up paper cutting and gluing okay so hope that helps hope that's gonna be a fun little project hope to see a lot of people uh, hanging their bats you know up in the classrooms and uh, at your house and stuff like that so again I got this thing upside down so it'll be like that so have fun and see you next time bye